Hey, I was about to say that. Why are you gonna inter interrupt me? Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. This is Knuckles in Sonic 2. Yeah, if you connected Sonic the he Sonic and Knuckles to Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you could play as Knuckles, and that's what I'm going to be doing here, just for the fun of it. it this is not even close to my walkthrough, by the way, <laughs> because you have your old gliding moves and all sorts of goodies that Knuckle Knuckles has that was not in Sonic 2, but I'm just going to be playing for fun, no exploration, no emeralds and stuff like that. I mean, it is a random gameplay, and it is rather classic that you were able to combine carts like this. In fact, it's something that really wasn't used in a lot of games, like, in general, so it's kind of neat that they were able to expand on old cart games by just simply connecting them to another cart. Whee! And I have no idea how this is going to look, to be honest, you know, when I make the video, because certain visual effects in the Sonic games are reliant on there being two sets of frames, like interlaced frames, like the shield, for instance, which may or may not look like a solid ball on the camera. I can't really tell from this distance. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it, the interlace thing, it makes makes it seem like that the flashy effects and stuff like that, they alternate. And that's something that's very hard to get rid of without creating a motion blur in the video. So, so I don't, you know, give you nausea or something like that. I'll stick with no motion blur. <laughs> it's, it's a way, the motion blur is a thing that combines the frames the interlace frames into a progressive video, which is what you see on YouTube. And that's what causes the thing in uh, progressive video, but it didn't happen in uh, interlace video because, well, that's what it was made for, and interlace does not translate well to progressive with some visual effects like that. It's just a nature of the video, I suppose, and I missed the checkpoint, but whatever, it's just Robotnik. And he's got a drill tank. Oh man, this is gonna be so difficult. I will never, ever be able to beat this boss. But hopefully with a little bit of luck, I'll be able to do so. By the way, when he gets to uh, seven hits, he'll shoot his drill out at you. So I'm just gonna hit him once more and... I want to do that after I... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, he does that. <laughs> yeah, when he hits seven hits, he shoots the drill out at you as a surprise attack. It's not all that good. And free the critters! Yeah, what I wanted to do when I hit him there was bounce on him and then do the glide right after I bounced on him, but I failed on my timing. <laughs> Come on, Paul Plant Zone! By the way, this game's got really got good music, in case you couldn't tell. I'm only gonna play through, like, the first two levels. I'm gonna play through the first two levels of the game here, and then that'll be about it, I suppose, for the random gameplay. It's just to show you the olden days of cartridge uh, combining, basically, even though I'm playing this on the Sonic Mega Collection. <laughs> I, my Genesis no longer works, sadly. I gotta get a new one one of these days. They aren't that much nowadays, you know, to get back into playing the Genesis games. And stuff that you can do with Knuckles that you couldn't do with Sonic and Tails, as I showed before, was Glide, but you can also climb walls to find secrets hidden in certain areas, such as these extra lives. Yeah! <laughs> Just thought I would point that out for any of you who think that putting Knuckles in here is simply a gimmick, because there is actually different paths and stuff to find and explore when you are Knuckles in Sonic 2. And I did the glitch that lets me jump around on the results screen. To do this, you gotta jump back onto the screen just as the score is appearing on the screen and stuff like that. It's pretty easy to do, actually, once you get the hang of it. And what was that flicker? I do not know. It's kind of weird. There's a blizzard-like thing going on outside, so... Hopefully the power will not go out as I'm making this. That sucked! I don't... Uh, I wanted to get up there. Now I have to climb up there manually. Dang it. Uh, that's a pretty big shortcut if I can climb up there like that. You know, using that rather high... Uh, ramp of sorts. And springo, springo, and then there's a moving platform here, but there's some rings off to the side here. Oh, and a shield, I forgot about that. And no, 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 no! If you ever get caught by those spiders, shake yourself loose by pressing buttons, jiggling the D-pad, anything you can. Yeah, let's go! 
Ah, oh, the days when Sonic was good. <laughs> okay, some of the modern Sonic games are okay, like um, the Colors and Rush games, but they haven't been able to match the quality of the Genesis games, in my opinion. Anyways, woo! They combine speed and platforming, which is a very unique thing for its time. Not anymore, though, of course. Go around, there we go, not want to get squishied. And I got over a hundred rings, which gives me an extra life. Oh no, it's water, I've got to get to the other side. Well, it's actually the top, but yeah, just gently climb yourself upwards, do not panic. Jump when they crisscross over like that, and you'll automatically fall right onto the block that you need to jump on. Don't worry about the sound of death that you're hearing right now. It's no big deal, because we are at the surface. Ah, air. Yeah, I was so calm during that segment. <laughs> and we've got a moving platform here, which is kind of awkward to get onto at times. It's such a small platform, and you've got so much control. <laughs> and these, pl these things twist and turn. This is the combination between platforms and speed, which makes you a little bit leery about running forward at times. Good level design, I must say. And no way, wait, wait, no, 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 no! I knew that was gonna happen when I couldn't stop. <laughs> but it's okay, I hit the checkpoint, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna carefully go across this this time, because I'm right there. And even save my rings, interesting. I, I forgot it did that. <laughs> uh, if you want to, I guess I'll show this. If you want to get past this without using those platforms, Careful here. To defeat this Eggman, just do nice low jumps. You always bounce back to the center platform and watch out for his chemical drop of death, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's a really easy boss if you know what to do, and I'm at 11 minutes. No, wait, I'm. Why did I. <laughs> 11 minutes. I'm not even close to 11 minutes. Why did I say 11 minutes? <laughs> uh. Hmm, I'll do one more level. <laughs> yeah! Aquatic Ruin Zone! It's more water. A lot of people don't like water in Sonic games, and I wasn't one of them at one time, but I got more of an appreciation for water as I played these games more and more, because the water does add different elements of gameplay to the Sonic game, so it's kind of like a... Uh, necessary way to break up the uh, gameplay style. By the way, Knuckles can jump as high as Sonic and Tails, so that's why I had to jump up on that log to get that pillar destroyed. Just saying, oh no, I didn't mean to fall off of there. By the way, if you go all the way down to the bottom, there's water down there, and I'm just gonna skip out on that for the sake of speed, if at all possible. I know there's water here, but I'm not gonna actually go into the water. Oh, I didn't mean to grab onto the wall there. I got speed boots, and I need to get on this platform. That water is probably not going to look right on the camera. <laughs> because it's got the flicky, flashy thing like the shield does, which is an interlaced video effect. I hate that trap, that's pretty mean. <laughs> Dang grounders popping out of nowhere. And if you have enough speed and hit that thing, you can get some stuff above. This area, it's pretty hard to execute though, I've only done it a few times. It's not really worth going up there to get, in my opinion. It's another one up, and to continue. Part two. Yeah, what is that flicker? It must be the, the um, Nintendo's emulation of the game. See the... Oops, did not mean to fall in the water, dang it. The... Um, any Anytime you see, like, a ported game, they do it through ah they do it through emulation they don't do it through because you know the you can't like um how do i put it the system specs of the genesis like the chips and stuff like that you can't like recreate that on another system you have to emulate all oh, no, down already fine <laughs> ah dang you oh 
I don't like this part, because I have to get up using a very awkward method. And... And I have to swim... Oh, like that, and... Uh, oh, that works. <laughs> I would like a ring, and I would like a bubble. Thank you. This is why I don't like taking the underwater out, if at all possible, but it's still, as I said, a different take on the... I mean, it's, uh, you know, different for the platforming genre. And we're out of the water! I said, we're out of the water! There we go. You have to hit spring more on the end for you to get the most spring -o power out of it. Okay, here's a trick. Get over... I was gonna say, <laughs> get on here and then jump back onto the pillar before the fight starts so that you don't have to do these spear jumps. Uh, wherever he is, just go to the opposite side to anticipate the spears you want to be over... Yeah, like that. And then... Oh, I can't get up there with Knuckles, that's right. The jumps are too low, I forgot about that. So I must be patient and just hit him the normal way, one stake, I mean one spear at a time. And by the way, you'll notice that their eyes pop out whenever um, a spear comes out of their mouth. Come on! Give me a spear that I can use, dang it. There we go. I should be able to get up here. And I glitched off the edge of it. <laughs> I, see, the reason why I want to get up there is to speed this up a little bit. You'll see why once I do it. Oh, there we go. I'll get up here. He's gonna slam. Oh, that's fine. Because so I can do that. And I can cheaply kill him from here on out. <laughs> like that. That's the best tactic I've found to defeat Eggman. Well, he's actually known as Robotnik at this time. But I mean, it's the best tactic to beat him at this boss. And, man, if people are doing a speedrun on this level and, you know, having to use that tactic to beat Robotnik quicker, they would be ticked if they never got a spear at the second highest spot. <laughs> and there we go. I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll let the screen fade to black.